This year, we are all looking for the perfect holiday gift. And today, I want to tell you about the gallery. The gallery shop is a curated collection of photographs from around the world. All prints are made from 100% recycled aluminum, giving your wall that gallery finish. Right now, for the holiday season, the gallery is exclusively offering our listeners 25% off your next purchase using the code FRIDAY. That's 25% off your next purchase at thegallery.com. That's the G-A-L-R-Y using the code FRIDAY. The Gallery. Create your perfect space. You are tuned in to a female-hosted podcast who values you and your time. Each week, I will deliver short and sweet perspectives with no sidekick. So please, sit back, put your feet up, and allow me to bring you Drea's Point of View. You are listening to Drea's Point of View. I'm your hostess, Drea. And today I'll be talking about a man's breast size preference and what it says about him. A long time ago, my mom and I, we talked about getting our breasts enlarged. Now we're both slender women, so of course it wouldn't be too much. Probably go up two, two sizes. But we didn't, obviously we didn't pursue it. She always would tease me and say that I'm the reason why she's considering it because she used to breastfeed and I took it all from her. I'm like, okay, mom. All right, whatever. I'll I'll, I'll take that. The first bra was patented back in 1914. Padded bras appeared to make breasts look bigger. In 1948, there was a push-up bra and 1994, the Wonder Bra. The average American bra size has increased along with those in England. And then, of course... The plastic surgery business is making millions due to the fascination with boobs. I always was curious on what guys thought of women with smaller breasts as opposed to larger. And of course, I found some research on it. And it says that the men who prefer the smaller breasts are more likely to settle down. It says those who like the big breasts are... Really, they have short-term commitment issues. Researchers think it's because guys focus on other traits that are more important, like personality. So, yeah, that's what I found out about that. A man's attitude towards women and their role in society may influence it. These guys tend to, are the ones who like the bigger breasts. They perceive women to be weak and have traditional femininity. They also see, they also say that the guys who like the big breasts are (laughs) hungry since they see breasts as food security. The men who prefer the smaller breasts tend to want someone who is submissive and loyal. Interesting. Says guys who prefer the large breasts tend to be dependent, independent, and may be funny, the center of attention, and an exhibitionist. Men who like the smaller breasts are financially stable. Study shows that financially unstable guys prefer larger breasts, while those well-off tend to like the smaller ones. I don't know how true that is. I haven't really pulled any rich guys, so... <laughs> Those men who are ready for fatherhood prefer the large breasts. The larger breasts seem to signify that a woman's capable of nurturing children. Now, what do these different, what do the guys think about the different cup sizes? Because they're basically, you know, you got A, B, C, D, double D on up. What they think about the A cup, the men tend to find these women to be very feminine and attractive. The B cups, they tend to 
not like this size as much as the A because it's medium size. Although they do find women this size to be innocent. The C cups. Men really like this size since the women that have those are curvaceous. The ones who like the D cup tend to be most popular and the most loved. And then you've got the double Ds that seem to grab the most attention. Recent research shows that men prefer shapely and perky breasts. And the majority of men prefer medium size. So in this case, size does not matter, but shape does. You have been tuning in to Drea's Point of View. I can be heard on Podbreed Network, Good Pods, Top Black Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, Breaker, Spreaker, and more. Feel free to leave me a comment on my website, www.dreaspointofview.com or on social media. I'm on Facebook and IG, Drea's Point of View, as well as Twitter, Drea Point. It's been my pleasure bringing you a part of me and I hope that you remain to be a listener. Until next time, take care.